a video was emerged online of Floyd Mayweather. Looks like he's partying and he's showing off a very ripped, muscular physique. Some people are saying that this arouses suspicion because he looks more muscular and more ripped at age 40 than he did at age 30. The Floyd fans, particularly the diehards, are saying, no, that's BS. It's just hard work and dedication. But the other side are saying, look, it's impossible for a guy who's always been in shape his whole life to be more muscular and ripped at 40 than he was at 30 without taking some type of performance enhancing substance. Here's my take on it. It is not impossible to be more ripped and more muscular at age 40 than you were at 30. But we're not talking about a guy here who wasn't in shape at 30. We're talking about a guy in Mayweather who's always been in shape. He's always been training hard. Now, once you reach your mid to late 20s, as a male, your testosterone levels drop year on year. How are you going to boost your, te your testosterone levels if you're already in shape anyway? You're not go going to be able to. They're going to drop year on year. So by the time you're 40, as a professional athlete who's always been in shape, your testosterone levels are definitely going to be a lot lower at 40 than they were at 30. So people saying that Mayweather's physique looks suspicious are right to be suspicious because it's very unusual for a guy to be more muscular and more defined at 40 than he was at 30 when he's been in shape the whole time and he's been training hard the whole time. That is unusual. There's no getting around it. It don't mean necessarily that it's a sign of performance enhancing drugs, but it's definitely cause to be suspicious. If you look at many fighters of the past, Sugar Ray Leonard, go have a look at Sugar Ray Leonard when he was 30 years old when he fought Marvin Hagler. Compare his physique then to when he was 40 or nearly 40 when he fought Hector Camacho. It's night and day. When he fought Camacho, he was nowhere near as ripped or muscular or defined as he was 10 years earlier when he fought Marvin Hagler. Go le look at Lennox Lewis when he was 37 in his final fight against Klitschko. He was nowhere near as ripped as he was at 30 years old. Go look at any number of fighters and you'll see the same thing. The norm is for a fighter to be less ripped and less muscular at 40 than he was at 30. That's the norm, the overwhelming norm. So for Mayweather to be the other way and be more muscular and more ripped at 40 than he was at 30, that is unusual. You're not going to try to sit there and tell me that that's not unusual. It is unusual. That is not the norm at all. And some people have said, well, Floyd's black and black people generally, not always, metabolize fat more efficiently and therefore can get ripped more easily. That may be true, but again, it don't matter what race you are, including black, by the time you're 40, you're not going to be as defined and ripped and muscular as you was when you were 30 if you've been in shape the whole time. It's not going to happen. The examples I just gave you, like Ray Leonard and Lennox Lewis and countless other fighters. Roy Jones Jr., he was ripped to shreds when he was 30. Look at his body when he was 40. Nowhere near as ripped and defined. Yeah, there's no escaping father time. No matter how good your genetics are, you're not going to get away from father time. So, you know, maybe Floyd has been on, on some type of insane diet, which he wasn't on when he was 30, to get himself this ripped and muscular. Possible. But, you know, that's hard. That's very, very difficult to get himself looking like that at 40 when he weren't like that at 30. And he was training hard at 30. He's always been training hard. It's the same when I saw Marquez at the tail end of his career. It's like, I've seen this guy his whole career and he never even had a six pack. He never had no big muscles and broad chest and short. Marquez never had none of that. But then suddenly at age 38, my man's looking like a linebacker. <laughs> he's looking like Mr. Universe at 38, Marquez. People, that's not normal. 
Again, these are guys, Marquez is a guy who's been training hard his whole career. It's not like he weren't in shape when he was 30 and then only decided to start training hard at, at, at 38. No, he's always been training hard. With Marquez, they try to say, oh, he brought on some nutritionist. People, please, please. I mean, unless his diet was absolutely god awful when he was 30, then I don't care what nutritionist you bring on board, you ain't going to look better at 38. <laughs> I'm telling you, unless he was eating like tacos and fajitas and all that kind of stuff on a daily basis and drinking all types of, you know, Coronas and whatnot, <laughs> or whatever, whatever beers they drink in Mexico, uh, unless he was doing that at 30, then people, mm-mm. Marquez at 38, that, that, <laughs> that physique is suspect, I'm telling you people. But with regards to this fight here with Conor McGregor, does it even matter if Floyd has been off two years and potentially taking performance enhancing drugs? Does it even matter? Not really. Not really. I mean, when, when he's not in competition, he, he was retired for two years or whatever, he can do whatever he wants. He can take whatever he wants during that time. It's not illegal. He's not competing. So it don't, it don't really matter anyway. Um, and even if he is taking something now, and I'm not saying he is, but even if he was, it still wouldn't matter. Because with or without performance enhancing drugs, he's still going to beat Conor McGregor. It's not going to make no difference. <laughs> I'm telling you. And when it comes to McGregor himself and MMA, I mean, it's awash with drugs. If anything, it seems to be even more prevalent in MMA than it is in boxing. There seems to be even more steroids and more drugs in MMA than there is in boxing. And there's a lot of it in boxing. Then again, you could say it's just a case of them being more efficient at catching people in MMA than they are in boxing. And you know what? I, I can understand that argument, but there's been a hell of a lot of people in MMA that got popped for steroids. I mean, look at flipping, what's his name? Uh, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> people. Was anybody shocked when he got popped for steroids? <laughs> I mean, come on, people. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on Floyd Mayweather and his new physique. It's possible that it's natural. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's very unusual. There's no question about it. It is very unusual for a man to look like that at 40 when he didn't look like that at 30 and he's always been training hard the whole time. That is unusual. There's no getting around it. Yeah. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about it, people. It's happening I'm out. And before I go, make sure you click the notification bell below this video. It should be next to the subscribe button. Make sure you click it to get alerts for all my future uploads. It's happening I'm out.